Murphy. Ah, uh, Mr. Conan McGregor, why you come back? Uh, why you no not leave? Uh, why you go disturb the YouTube scene again when you were already discarded before? Uh? This Conan Murphy guy has been a pain in everyone's ass, especially my self-esteem, for a very, very long time. And a fucking embarrassment for a fucking while. And then, after he was fucking criticized last year, right, by everybody in the community, he went black. And now, been a while since he has come back, he's been coming back slowly, you know? But you guessed it, he hasn't changed one fucking bit. And even though tons of videos were made on him, like a year ago, he hasn't stopped his shit of taking off his fucking clothes and shit. Mind you, I'm not saying anything bad about him as a person, but content is what I don't like, personally. If I said anything bad about him as a person, I'll be embarrassing myself, because like, let's face it, he's a good looking bloke. But then not really... Logical, it doesn't have a brain now, does he? I guess it's true, you know, God gives you one or the other, not both. Some people make the argument, oh, he's not hurting anybody. Well, he's hurting my motherfucking self-esteem. It's down in the shit drain. Cause, cause, cause I can't have the muscles like him, you know, I don't have the muscles. But there's a humor part to this. That he needs any fucking excuse to take off his shirt. Like, like, like the boss will be like, Mr. Eddie Murphy, you are fired. <laughs> like, you see, he just needs any fucking excuse. For example, like, he's walking down the street, bumps into someone. Oh, sorry, sir, I didn't really see you there. Cause, cause I'm blind. So you do know that I still can't fucking see, right? <laughs> but, but I can fucking hear you taking off that stupid fucking shirt again. Going on, the, uh, going to the fucking doctor, he'll be like the same. It'll be like the same thing. Uh, Mr. Murphy, you have chlamydia and it cannot be cured. You'll be dead in less than a week. Bring the fucking poison injection, would you, nurse? You get the point, right? He's the fucking prank invasion of bodybuilders and Superman wannabes. But yeah, you get the point. His latest video. The Conor Murphy fake shirt trick to Las Vegas. Of course you remember his old, his old legendary. The, the, the real, the spawn of Satan himself. The, the shirt taking off that, the one that really spawned all this hate. Yeah, there's a part two of it now. Is that okay if I get your daughter's number and we get like married one day? Oh sure, sure Mr. Murphy. Here's my daughter's number, here's our car information, here's my address. Thanks to your rock hard abs, safety is no, not longer number one priority I tell you. I'm so wet that the whole Maldives just drowned in some pussy <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. I'm Fucking, he did this shit before as well, like he asked the girl what color shirt he's wearing and of course there's a fake fucking cloth sticking out, right? So then they then they say, oh, it's that color and then he opens up his jacket to show it off. And then you can see the paid act actress reaction like, and you can obviously tell that they're paid actors and they're not working in fucking Hollywood because how shitty their acting is. Like, oh, Connor, I can't believe you're, that's so hard, abs, yeah. You get the cringe right, and that fucking copyright music is so annoying. You can tell it's copyright because no one wants to own that fucking piece of shit music. Oh, it was showing the whole time. Cassidy, do you not remember to zip up my jacket? Hey, shut up, You Cassidy. haven't. You have got to zip shut up the jacket. You ruined the video for me. Oh my god. Wait, does anybody want to wash hey. the clothes? Sorry, guys. And what the fuck are these women up to? Like, if that was me, I just saw a guy take off his jacket to show me what color shirt he's wearing and he's wearing nothing and scammed me. I'll be screaming help and rapist on top of my lungs, I swear. And look at this. Is that okay if I get your daughter's number? And we ah, parenting done right. No telling your kids not to talk to strangers. No, no, none of that, none of that. It's letting them fucking fuck random people on the street. Bless you, you're a good fucking mother. You should be a saint, you should be crowned a saint. There should be a church named after you. Retard, Saint Retard or something. Ah, kissing girls on Tinder prank or whatever the fucking thing is. The only thing missing is gone wrong and gone sexual, gone gay or whatever. It might be weird cause like we're friends, but I mean, anything for the views. <laughs> Ah, the cringe. He looks like a fucking insurance agent, man. If hey, ma'am, if you if you buy our company's insurance and your husband dies, we will get you a hundred thousand dollars. Hey, kids, want a candy? It's in my way. <laughs> and since these are these are real women, or real people, not paid actors, they obviously they refuse to make out with them, right? And frankly, he's just embarrassing himself. At this point, it looks like he has a fucking PhD in embarrassing himself. That's the only thing he's good at. Just, just plain out, just bullshit its way through and bullshit himself as well. What the fuck? And see, you get my point, right? I don't know if this is real or fake, but it is one fucking embarrassing thing after the other. Like, what the fuck? He has this bubble thinking where like he's the only fit guy in the whole fucking world and flaunts it to everybody wherever he can, like I said before. I want to meet him in 60 fucking years when he has an Arnold body and his flappy ass looks like fucking falling off tits. No.
Frankly, I think he'll his narcissistic ass will still take off his shirt like, hey, look at me, I'm old, but you know, who am I kidding? I just want to find a good word for him. He's he's a helpful to his fellow human beings. He makes them wet. He lubricates their pussies. You know, you know what you know what a good word for him is. Let me think one. You gotta be gentle here. How about asshole? Nah, too harsh, too harsh. How about something much more fitting? Ah, douchebag. Perfect.